What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KG48, and welcome to the season finale for Seven Days to Die, No More Room in Hell. I went ahead and set it up, so day 14 is going to be Horde Night. We're going to have Horde Night, we're gonna, then after that we're going to make the gyrocopter, and we are going to fly off into the sunset. I went ahead and, and started gathering a bunch of stuff for the gyrocopter. Uh, I think, yeah, the three wheels, um, I have a bunch of steel being cooked up. I've got I've got most of the stuff for the gyrocopter. I think we might have to you know scavenge a couple things um, here and there, but yeah, this is all the steel being made up. All right, remember I found that um, iron deposit underneath my base. There's some steel being made up. This is all my ammo for the Horde Knight. Should be a lot of fun. There's some glue. I need um, glue to be made into duct tape, and uh, that's what we're looking at here. So let's go take a look at the Horde base. I did go ahead and take the lights that I picked up, those uh, lanterns that I picked up from the POIs, and I did go ahead and put them on the Horde base, so it should be even more well lit up than last time. So let's take a look. Hey, what's up, bud? Yeah, you break through that fence, then I'll kill you. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah, man, this is this is going to be a lot of light here. This should not be a problem. Let's make sure everything's uh, set up here. I, did, I didn't, like, really take a look at the Horde base. I spent all of my time between this and last video just getting what I needed uh, for the uh, for the gyrocopter. So let's go ahead and put this down. All right. Just like that. Pretty good. Yep. Oh. And then we're going to take this one over here. We're going to load this one up. I wonder how much ammo this can hold. Is it more than 98? No, okay, 80. Very good. And then we'll put this one on this side. Oh, there's a big boy. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Alright, and then we'll put this on this side. And let's go smack this guy's freaking head in. And then we're gonna upgrade the base, and I think we're just gonna, you know, kind of wait until Horde Night. There we go. It's been a fun series, man. This is one of the very few series that I actually, like, really go through and finish. I had a goal, we're gonna hit that goal, and then it's gonna be over. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good on my, like, normal series, my vanilla series with being done. I mean, that base is not going to be fully, fully done, but it's going to be done enough. Uh, you know, and I'm actually going to save the base on my, on my other world. So I can, um, you know, maybe continue working on it in the future. Give you guys the base and you can mess around with it. Should be, should be pretty fun. Alright, so which side are we going to go on? Let's go on the other side first. We'll leave this like that. So in case we want to come to this side, we can. And then I'm going to go over here. And, yeah, this is going to be the first side. Okay, you know what? I think we're just about ready. Let's smack this guy in the head. I feel like hearing the cling. Cling. That's what you get, buddy. Whoa, you really? You want to get up? Want to get up? Sit down. I can destroy you, bro. I was like, why isn't he getting up? I didn't see the hit point. Uh, the I didn't see the, um, the experience. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Oh, look at this. We got, we got stuff re, uh, respawning. Very good. Very good. No, that one I didn't put stuff in. Let's check out this one. There we go. So that's how the respawn trick works, by the way. I looted all the stuff on day three. So that's why it's up now at day 14. Alright, you know what? Why don't we, instead of like just sitting around waiting for Horde Night, why don't we... Get to work on the gyrocopter. The hell with it, right? I mean, get it going. Well, actually, we really can't. Well, we might be able to make some of it. We might be able to make some of it. Because we need the steel um, for the gyrocopter. Let's see what we can make for the gyrocopter. All right. Well, uh, that's the gyrocopter. That we... Oh, you know what? Headlight, like short iron pipe, mechanical parts. Hold on. We might have what we need for this. Short iron pipe there. Um, headlights and electrical parts. Never mind. We do have a piece ready to go. Cool. This one we're waiting for the steel and the duct tape. So I'm just going to run into the other building, uh, go up to where the... Remember I found that wonderful, wonderful workbench? Thank God. It's like the only workbench in the in the game. I mean, maybe there's... There could be um, secret loot in these buildings I haven't found yet. But I really doubt that I haven't found an entire room where there'd be a workbench. I'm pretty sure I found every available workbench in both of these buildings. I have not been able to make a workbench, although I could have specced into it, I guess. And I didn't find any, except for the one. Um, and that's kind of amazing. Uh, but at least I found it, right? Little pro tip. I found it so much easier to just nerd pull up to the third floor. Like, it is so much quicker. It's not even funny, you know? Because when you're jumping, like, the, the fact that you're out of um, stamina really doesn't mean anything. So you just kind of, like, when you're running around, it just takes for freaking ever, man. So, just gotta run up here and down here. Don't fall down there. Let's come up here. And there we go. 
Okay, Gyrocopter accessories. Okay, four and a half minutes, cool. So then we, we already have the batteries, we have the engine, we need these two, we have the wheels. So this doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. The only thing we have to worry about is this. Um, I have the mechanical parts. Uh, I have the I have the leather. It's back at base. I have the electrical parts. All we need is the duct tape and the uh, and the steel. And I will have all that when it, when the time comes. So awesome. Okay. Well, now we're literally just waiting for Horde Night, guys. So <laughs> I'll see you at twenty two hundred. Okay. Here we are. Looking good. Got about twelve hundred rounds. Few grenades. Melee weapon. I'm ready to rock and roll. We're going to have the turret helping for a little bit before it runs out of ammo. I guess I can always make more ammo for the turret. But, like, I don't know. I don't really think I need to bother. I mean, the turret's okay, but, like, until you spec into it, it's better as a stunning tool than anything else. You know, it doesn't do a ton of damage. It's not really anything I'm going to be concerned about. I probably wouldn't be able to reach it anyway. All right, so let's take a look at our final set of skills. So we did the Lucky Looter 4 or 5, Salvage Operations 4 or 5, nothing else in the Perception Tree. Uh, minor 69, a little bit of Minor 69, a middle, little bit of Motherload, Sex Rex, and Pummel Pete. I planned this for this to be a melee base, but yeah. Uh, I mean, it's still melee. Uh, we did do one Living Off the Land, Healing Factor, and Cardio. Those are the, the Trinity that I always do in every one of my games. Well, no, not Living Off the Actually, I probably should do Living Off the Land in all my games. I just don't want to deal with the, with the food and healing issues, although it's not really been an issue. And we barely put any points in this. We put, like, what, one point into in intelligence or intellect? I mean, that's freaking great. Yeah. Yeah, this worked out pretty well. This worked out pretty well. Wish I could have put some point. I like the 42 tree, guys. I'm going to be honest. I really like the 42 tree. I love machine gun. I love the AK. I love the M60. Um, the melee ability to, with your hands is pretty good. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it, it does, like, stun lock things and, and swings pretty quick. With the speed of your swinging, you probably do about as much DPS as the other weapons. Um, I just feel like the other weapons are a little bit better because they just hit, like, you kind of, like, dodge in, bam, like, smack one big hard hit and just decimate, like, fools. Uh, but with the, um, with the, with the 42 tree, you have to sit in there and take the damage. Um, the thing is, you could take the damage with the 42 tree because of pain tolerance. Um, you could even go nuts with healing factor if you, if you so choose, which I probably will next season. Um, this, uh, like I said, this is the finale of this world, right? And next season will be, um, I'm going to do one uh, Let's Play for next season for like the first couple weeks. And then I'm going to have two, two up. Um, the first Let's Play I'm going to start next season is going to be a, a, a vanilla world that's going to have like harder difficulty. Um, and then after a little bit, I'll, I will start a, um, a modded series. I don't know when the modded series is going to start, but uh, it will start. I'll, I'll talk about it during next season. We'll see. I don't like starting two seasons. At the this is way too loud. I don't like starting two seasons at the same time. So I'll just do like, you know, we'll start the vanilla hard world. I need a name for the hard world too. I don't know what to call it. It's definitely going to be all about like difficulty and challenge. I'm going to put it on always run and I'm going to have um, uh, a mod made by a friend of mine named Dan. It's going to be a harder zombies mod with a headshot thing with it. It's going... Basically it's going to be... um, It's going to be... The zombies are going to do 250% damage but at the same amount of hit points. Or not hit points but like... I'm not going to get too technical into it. They're going to do 250% damage and have the same amount, and I will do the same amount of damage to them, and they will have the same hit points. So they will be, you know, easier to... They will be, like, normal difficulty, easy to... 250% more damage. They're, they're going to always run, and there's also going to be a headshot thing set up in there where their body... If I hit them in the body, they take 20% overall damage of what they should be taking, right? And if I hit him in the head, they take 400% uh, damage, which is twice what they normally take. If you hit a zombie in the head, it does 200% damage. So with this headshot mod, they're hitting him in the head will take 400% damage. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. I, I, I assume I'm going to be dying a lot in the first, you know, few days. So we'll see. Depends on how quickly I get a gun and how well I adapt to it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm on you. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. All right, well... With this base, the cool thing is if, you, if you're out of stamina, you just kind of repair. I'm surprised it's Sex Rex 3. I'm having such problems with stamina. All right, these, these, um, I hate these freaking spider zombies, man. They're, they're so hard to hit in this setup. There you go. Kling! Kling! You know, I'd probably do more overall DPS. If I left click. Oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah. There we go. You're done. 
Yeah, I'd probably do overall more DPS if I left click, honestly. Because when I right click, you know, I do a lot of damage, but it just eats up so much stamina. There we go. So I got a little trick I could show you guys since this is a season finale. Um, show swings, right? Now check this out. Anytime I, I hit them, it'll show. It'll if I hit them on a um on a glancing blows, you'll see it as a green marker. So that's pretty cool. It shows where the glancing blows are and how many you hit. It didn't do anything with guns though. That's actually uh, quite quite in the way. Let's take that out. Yeah, suck on that, chump. Ugh! All right, don't 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 right click too much. Actually, when I think I have to repair, I might as well right click because I need to. I use up all that stamina. So when it's time to repair, you know, I feel like I'm not wasting my time as much. Why not? There you go. You're all done. Oh, look at you. Aren't you the little engine that could? Actually, she might, she might not be one of the ones that got blown up. Okay, here we go. All right, come on, zombies. Come on, zombies. Oh, boy. Yeah, you always want to have two up, just in case that first one breaks. I mean, it's not going to break in this situation, but, you know, if you're facing tougher zombies... Damn it. Shit. There you go. Beautiful. Man, I don't have any cobblestone. That could have been a big problem. It's not gonna be a big problem, but it could have been. If there's a tougher horde with like like you know cops and stuff, that would that could have been a fatal issue. Shit, man. <laughs> that wasn't good. Hey, there we go. You're all done. Thanks for the experience, bro. <laughs> oh, look at you. Little opportunistic zombie. And now you're dead. Again, double dead. Alright, last grenade. Trying to get right in between the two uh, hatches. There we go. No more grenades. I have no more grenades. Oh, there we go. What's hitting that? <laughs> oh, screw this guy. I hate those spider zombies so freaking much. I hate them so much! Yeah, I gotta be honest, man. Until you start getting, um... Until you start getting demolishers, this base is un-effing believable. And there's probably a way to build it up against demolishers, too. I just haven't, you know, thought about it. Oh, look at Big Bertha. Come on, Big Bertha! Ah, I can't do that. My freaking voice is killing me this morning. My allergies are driving me crazy. Having trouble getting my allergy medication. Gotta go to the store. That's what it is. It's funny, like, I have, I have this time off of work. And I just feel like... I, I just feel like I, um, I, I just feel like I don't have any time. Like, I'm just like, oh, I got this time off of work. Yeah, not so much. What the hell with this? Oh, just so you guys can see properly if I'm going to do this. Oh, boy. Get some separation. Reload. Got to be careful when zooming in because you do use stamina when zoomed in. So. You got to be careful when you reload too. God darn it. I always forget that. Go. Bye. Here we go.
There we go. I wonder if they'll come inside. Let's see if they'll come to my base. Why not? Have some fun with it. I don't feel like they are going to. I feel like if I go away from the area... No, don't make their way to me. Alright, let's see, let's see what we can do here. This will be fun. I got my, uh, my turret set up up here, so... Alright. Okay. Repair. Upgrade? No. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh boy, they're coming in. Do that loot. Oh good, it dropped got a little five chainsaw. Oh my goodness. Are they not gonna be able to get to me now? Or did we exhaust the horde? Could have exhausted the horde. What about you? What do you got? Not that I need any of this stuff, I'm just kinda looking. Just curious. You done or what? Or did we just get too far away from our original area? I don't think I don't think you can get to Oh, maybe I did. That's weird, man. It didn't seem like they were spawning when I went too far away. Huh. I thought the horde is supposed to follow you. I thought the horde was supposed to follow you. That's kind of weird. Maybe I didn't give enough time. Oh boy. I hate those mother effing freaking spider zombie punks. You're all dead. You're all dead. Look at you. Look at you. I love the AK. It's such a fun gun. Alright, let me get back up into my base. Just because I want to. And we will do it this way. Oops. Alright. Oh. Uh. Oh, whoa. <laughs> How did I not fall in there? Okay. You guys coming up or what? Nice try, jerk. Line him up. Knock him down. That's right. That's right. Next. Next. All right, now that you guys can see, okay, I'm going to stay up here. Uh, let's just do this. And I think that's all she wrote. Let's go ahead and do some looting. Okay. I'm not, again, I'm not going to loot any of this stuff. I'm, I just want to see what's in there. Alright. Oh boy, a lot of loot over here. Ooh, a steel axe. It's pretty cool. What the hell? I thought the horde was over. I was tricked. This might be the little trickle horde that comes in sometimes. You know, there'll be like a little bit of uh, a zombie here or there. Just, you know, whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure the horde's over though, guys. I, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause the video. And I will come back in the morning when we will finalize the gyrocopter. And go take off. Alright. 
Go take off into, I don't know, into a better life. It's going to be awesome. All right, so Horde Night is over. My time in this world is over. We need to get the hell out of here. We got to figure out a way to get out of here. I think a gyrocopter off the roof is just what the doctor ordered. So I think I have everything left for the gyrocopter. So we're going to go ahead and run on up uh, to the workbench. I'm going to nerd pull up my se my super secret strats. Um, forget, <laughs> forget escalators, right? Uh, let me go ahead and eat. Uh, there we go. We got some pie. I like pie. There we go. We'll use that because we can. We even got another one over there. Cool. Maybe we're going to be flying off in style, man. I was thinking about having, like, uh, spawning a bunch of zombies on me and having them, like, chase me up to the roof and, like, I have to get off in the gyrocopter. But then I was thinking, that's going to be too hard. I'm probably going to die, like, a bunch of times doing it. So I was like, eh, we'll just kind of go off in the way I originally planned. You guys watched the movie. They were chased, you know, up to the roof. Their whole, like, little hidey hole was um, compromised. Zombies were coming up there. And they had to get out of there. That's why they took off. But it was, it was, it's what was best for them. Because to be honest, like being in that, being in that, um, that mall wasn't really doing them much good. They were kind of acting like a bunch of douchebags, and um, you know, it was bad for them, which is kind of weird. Because I think in reality, like being in a mall like that would be the best thing ever happened to you, and you'd never leave. You'd never want to leave. They kind of wanted to leave. Um, by the way, I'm talking about the original Dawn of the Dead 1978 version. If you like zombie movies, you definitely go check it out. Although if you like zombie movies, you probably already checked it out, but, you know, still. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. They were kind of, they were wanted to leave anyway. They're like, especially the lady, she was like, let's get out of here. But, that is unrealistic. In, a, in an apocalypse of any kind, you know, you find some place like that, you would, you would stay there. For as long as you had to. Alright, so there's the chassis. We already got that. And we just gotta wait for that to finish. And here we go. One gyrocopter made to order. So, here's the deal, guys. I just realized, I only brought like 80 gas. So, I don't know. I guess that's gonna have to be enough. Because <laughs> I'm not going back for more. The hell with that. It'll get me where I need to go. I shouldn't have dropped down, by the way. I should have went, um... I should have went back the way I came. Uh, I'm just so used to dropping down because this is how I get back, you know. So, all right, well, let's get to the roof, and let's do this thing. Here we go. Uh, come on up here. I'm out of stamina, because jumping takes all your stamina unless you go into parkour. I think parkour makes you take less stamina to jump, although I don't know. If, I don't remember for sure. Uh, so I know we can get up to the roof this way. Man, this movie theater, Midnight Designer in his evil movie theater. Like, this thing was, oof. I mean, I did come here at night, so maybe it's my fault, but still... Uh, I don't remember exactly how to get to the roof through here. Let's see if we can find the way. I kind of feel like this is the way. Yep. Yep. Now, which way did I go? Come up here. Yep, yep, yep. This is it. And look at me remembering stuff. How about that? Okay. And if I didn't remember it, I would just cut it out. <laughs> and here we are. Ooh, watch out for the mines. That would be awful. Awful funny. Well, funny for you sick people. Not for me, though. Okay. I think we'll just take off right there. Let's do it, guys. All right. This is awesome. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're going to take off. How much gas do we have? You know what? That might not even, might not even be enough to take off. Let's give it a shot anyway. Alright guys, if you ended up enjoying this series, make sure to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Oh, hells yeah. Oh, hells freaking yeah. I'm about to run out of gas and plummet to my death, but I just got an excellent, excellent screenshot. Beautiful, guys. Alright guys, I'll see you next, next season for, I guess, a regular vanilla world. Or a difficulty world. I have to think of a name for it. So, alright. See you next time, guys. And a little bonus content for you super fans to stick around to the very end of the video. Here we go. Zero percent. <laughs> think of this like the after credits scene. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. We didn't get very far. We did not get very far. <laughs> alright, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one. Barely took any damage.